I've refined just about everything to the point now where there's no real originality or creativity anymore. At least none that can be really, really seen. If you're to make rock music or really any particular genre of music, it's to sound like this because this is the way those genres are supposed to sound. The statistics say so. And look how easy it is now to make your music sound that way. Watch now, this is how to produce a rock song. If you're to design an automobile, it needs to have these types of stylings. If you're remodeling a mall, it should look like this. It's all been studied, and these are the things that people are statistically looking for. Yeah, it just kind of seems like we're in late-stage capitalism. When it comes to getting any new ideas that get any traction, we haven't really gotten any new ideas since around 1998. I mean, we had smartphones, you know, the iPhone in 2007. But beyond that, we haven't really had that much. Not in really much of anything that we can be creative in. I mean, when it comes to smartphones, though, look what we've done with those. Instead of getting tougher and lighter... They've gotten thinner, heavier, and more fragile. Instead of being able to replace the battery, you're supposed to just get a new phone when your old battery won't accept a very good new charge, you know? Everything is about selling new phones. You're supposed to, you know, get rid of your old one, you know, after even a year, you know? Oh, keep getting a new phone every year, right? Doesn't get any more planned obsolescence than that. And then people are having to push for things like right to repair because these companies don't even want people to be able to do their own repairs or take them to a third-party shop. No, it all has to be done through them. Great. But really, it's like, over time, capitalism has sucked the creativity and originality out of everything. And once it sucks the creativity dry, it throws it away. And that's where we're at now. When it's all about making money, all we're eventually going to get is either committee-driven or statistic-driven. Anything that goes outside of that is taking too much of a chance. I mean, and look at how Hollywood is now. You know, every movie, there, there has to be a certain amount of employees. They have to be paid a certain amount. They have to do things to particular standards. Like I said, everything is so refined that, I mean, I mean, it'd be nice if more independent filmmakers could actually have a chance to be on the big screen. But no, 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 you have to be part of the, uh, the MPAA, and to be in that, you have to come to all these standards, and it's stupid. And it doesn't have to be that way now, like when it comes to Hollywood. It doesn't have to be that way now. People can make movies for cheap now, but... You know, the Hollywood elite, everyone. Look at the Hollywood elite. Let's, let's all pat ourselves on the back, everyone. Look, you know, at these awards shows, right? But no, the, the only way to really break out of this downward spiral is to do something radically different, to take a radically different approach to anything that we can be creative in, like the Cybertruck. I mean, say what you will about Elon Musk. He's got some balls in putting out something like the Cybertruck. I, I hope I hope the Cybertruck doesn't end up being like the DeLorean, though, you know? Like, like you know, within a couple years after the release of the Cybertruck, uh, is there going to be some terrible thing that happens and uh, Tesla goes down, right? But we need to be willing to go in radically different directions, you know, in, in order to not be just adding to this cookie-cutter refinement of everything. Some people seem to be under the impression that if you artificially diversify, you know, demographically diversify everything, all workplaces and everything, that that'll just things will just magically be more creative and we'll just suddenly have all these different ideas. You know, that, that it's the best way to be more original. And I'm like, yeah, sorry, that's not going to work. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad to be more diverse demographically. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it's not going to solve this problem. You know, if we want to get past this hurdle, we're going to actually have to think differently. 
We're going to have to approach things differently. We'll have to approach our challenges differently. You know, if we can't get over this hurdle, it just seems that capitalism as we know it is done. And probably not just in the U.S. either. When everything to choose from is just pretty much the same thing repackaged over and over again. I mean, all from just a tiny, tiny handful of companies. Yeah, eventually people will get tired of it. Doesn't matter how pretty you make it look. Doesn't matter how good the effects are. Doesn't matter how perfect the production of the song was. Okay, it, it, it's all starting to feel sterile. All of it. Sterile. People will get tired of it. I'm already tired of it. I know a number of other people who are already tired of it. But, you know, when the majority of people get tired of it, there's going to have to be some sort of change. Either change or, like I said, capitalism as we know it is, is, is going to cease to exist. Cease to exist. Cease, cease. Beanie and Cecil. With Beanie Boy. A, a whole half hour. Chocolate Benadryl. Ooh.